Welcome back. Well, a nice little break in between storms over this weekend. Going to be even warmer tomorrow on Sunday. Let's start things out up in Buena Vista right now. Looking out west, hey, you can finally see the mountains today. Checked out this camera yesterday. It was so cloudy and snowy, you couldn't even tell there's mountains back there. But just a gorgeous shot to start off our weather forecast tonight. Checking out those temperatures right now into the mid 20s in most locations. 21 right now into the Springs, 25 here into Pueblo. A few mid 20s out to our east as well, but getting a bit chilly up into the mountains. And those temperatures with clear skies tonight. They're going to be a bit chilly for us all across the board. Live HD Doppler kind of tells a big story today. Sunny skies, not a whole lot of activity going on, but notice we're starting to see a pretty healthy little cloud bank. A few of those clouds are going to start to stroll in tomorrow, folks, but uh, not too bad tomorrow. We're going to see a pretty mild day tomorrow. A little chilly, but not too bad. So, again, we have that chillier air planted over top of us right now. And I say chilly because wait till you see what's down the pipe, all right? So, again, tomorrow it's going to be relatively sunny skies out there to start off Sunday. But as the day progresses, we're going to have a few clouds building, especially over the high terrain. They're going to start to stroll across eastern Colorado as the day progresses. Now, we've got two chunks of really cold air. We've got the first cold air mass that's starting to move in, and then the Arctic blast literally up to our north. That's dropping straight out of Canada and is going to drop those temperatures down into the single digits for daytime highs well below zero for overnight lows. So we're looking at some sub zero temperatures, folks. It's going to be chilly. You'll get a chance to try out that new Christmas sweater, all right? Looking at the single digits tonight, when we get those clear skies, temperatures tend to fall a little bit well below zero up into the higher country. Five degrees here in the Pueblo, eight into the Springs tonight, three and four there over into La Junta and Lamar. Tomorrow, Pushing the 40 degree mark pretty much all across the board. So, nice day. If you have any lights, if you want to get an early start on taking the Christmas lights down, tomorrow might be the day to do so, especially for travel plans. If you're traveling in or out of the state, tomorrow would be the next day to do so because Monday and Tuesday aren't looking very good. Here's how things play out for us again. So, Sunday not looking bad, 38 degrees, sunshine, few clouds though moving in throughout the day. And then Monday rolls around. Now, I'm not expecting a lot of accumulation out of this storm. It's just going to be so cold out there that any moisture up in the atmosphere, it's not going to be able to hold that moisture because it's going to be so cold, especially by Tuesday, four degrees, 10 below by Tuesday night. I promise that's not a typo, but little hope in sight once the week starts to wind around. Looking at the 30s and 40s there into Pueblo, same story, relatively the same temperatures into Pueblo. Reason for that, we're not looking at really strong winds to move this air mass out of the region once it settles in on Monday. So temperatures are going to be very, very similar between the springs and Pueblo. We're not going to see a lot of change there. Into Canyon City, same story, just a touch warmer. This cold, dense air tends to sink down to the surface. So the mountains are actually going to be a little bit warmer once this system moves in, but still well below zero for overnight lows Monday and Tuesday. Teller County will see a possible stray flurry or two move in late Sunday, but primarily into Monday. Again, about a 50% shot of flurries there. Again, not real heavy accumulation out of this. The biggest impact out of this system is just going to be really, really cold air. And by tomorrow, we'll start getting a pretty good idea on just how much snow we'll get out of this. But I would suspect, especially down here in El Paso and Pueblo counties, probably less than an inch, but mountains will catch a nice little flurry or two. Arctic blast. I wish we had an Antarctic blast this time of year because <laughs> it's right? summer in the southern hemisphere, so it That'd could blow some warm weather in. But. Oh. Oh, well, we'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, with cold weather comes colds and flu. And yeah, and coughs and sneezes, and yeah. apparently that's what.